last bit of tape here. Good. Oh, hello, Nations Kids. I've just finished wrapping my very last Christmas gift. Now, you might be wondering, why is Jenny wrapping a present? Well, it's the first week of our new series, Seek and Save. Say seek and save really loud with me after three. Three, one, two, three. Seek and save. And we're going to be exploring the real meaning behind Christmas. Let's pause the video here and by putting your hands up in the air, share with the team what you think the real meaning behind Christmas is. Those were all great answers, Nations Kids. I can't wait to find out the answer to that question over the next four weeks of Seek and Save. Hmm, I want to ask you, Nations Kids, what does Christmas look like in your home? Do you like receiving Christmas gifts? I know I do. Or maybe your favourite part of Christmas is giving gifts to the people you love. I'm actually about to go and open my Christmas presents for this year. Come with me and we'll open them together. Wow, Nations Kids, here they are. I'm so excited to be opening these with you. Let's have a look at this first one. It says, oh, to Jenny from Emily. Let's open and see what it is. <gasps> oh, it's a pencil case. It's a Moses pencil case. Can you see the fishes? Very cool. Thank you, Emily. Now, let's have a look at the second one. Oh, Nations Kids, this one's for you. It says, two Nations Kids, from Nations Kids team. Let's have a look and see what it is. Oh, Nations Kids. It's a memory verse for our Seek and Save series. Came to seek. Came to save. Luke 19 verse 10. That's a verse. Luke 19 verse 10. Write it down. Luke 19 verse 10. Have you got it? Luke 19 verse 10. Here we go. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. Let's dance. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. What's that verse again? Luke 19 verse 10. That's right. Luke 19 verse 10. Say it louder. Luke 19 verse 10. One more time. Luke 19, verse 10. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas y'all. Wow, that was such a great Christmas present. And that's just one that keeps on giving. Oh, we have one last present here. I wonder what it could be. The card here says, hmm to the world from God. Oh, this is from God Nations kids. This has got to be a great gift. Let's open it and see what it is. Ooh. Oh, Nations kids, this is baby Jesus. Let's take him out and have a look. Oh, Jesus was born to be the greatest gift to the world. He brings forgiveness, grace, hope, joy, and peace. And you and I can be best friends with him. He really is the perfect gift. You see, on the night he was born, there were people from all over who celebrated. A whole chorus of angels were sent to tell shepherds that Jesus was born. A star was put in the sky by God to celebrate and let the wise men know that Jesus was born and they traveled a very long way to bring gifts to Jesus and celebrate his birth. 
Just like all the people who celebrated Jesus on that day he was born thousands of years ago, you and me can also celebrate Jesus today because he is still the best gift in the world. In fact, I want to show you something, Nations Kids. Jesus being the greatest gift is like this, Nations Kids. This is Jesus. And maybe for Christmas you really wanted this stuffed bunny. It's quite cute, hey? And maybe you also wanted these really cool pajamas. See what happens. And oh, and this is that toy car that you really, really wanted all year. But see, nations, kids, no matter how great these gifts are, they always sink to the bottom. But Jesus always remains at the top. He is the greatest gift. But what happens when we keep the best Christmas gifts to ourselves? Mm, then our friends and family can't enjoy them too. Well, Jesus is just like that, nations, kids. Jesus is a gift to the whole world. And he is the best gift that has to be shared with the people that we love. How about we go out and find someone to share Jesus with this coming week and invite them to Nations Kids. But before you go, let's close by praying and talking to God with our hands in our laps and our eyes closed. Dear God, thank you that you have given us the best gift in the world through Jesus and that you promise us hope, joy and peace through him. We pray that every child here today will be given the courage to be brave, to share Jesus with their friends and family so that they can also know that he is the best gift in the world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It's been so good to have you join us, Nations Kids. Let's have more fun together next week. Bye.